I'm Stephanie Matthews with Homeschooly, and I wanted to just make this short video to welcome you officially and invite you to come to Schooly Palooza 2020. This year, the Schooly Palooza will be held in Ehrenberg, Arizona. We do not have an exact location yet. I know this is something that everybody's been asking about. It will be in Ehrenberg from January 20th through 27th but the location specifically will be released about a week before the event. So we are really excited because we have decided to really create a little bit more structure this year with Schooly Palooza because we're expecting a ton of amazing people to show up, like you hopefully. And so we have workshops, we have activities, we have, um, potlucks happening so on the very first night of arrival on january 20th at 4 p.m we are going to have a potluck dinner so when you arrive set up camp and then make sure to come on over to the main area and let's share a meal and get to know each other because really this is what it's all about creating community and being together so there will be security this year we do need more volunteers for this there have been a little bit of things going on in the different schoolie groups about last year's events. And we really want everybody here that is gonna be coming this year to feel absolutely safe. So we are creating a, a security team, but we do need volunteers for all aspects of Schoolie Palooza. So get involved and let's create this year to be amazing. So next is we need to pack it in, pack it out. This is a free community event. There is no charge for this. If you'd like to RSVP that you are going, that would help just give us a head count roughly of who's gonna be there. But because this is a free community event, there will be no dumpsters on site and there will be no porta potties. So everything that you bring, make sure to have the resources to pack it out with you. If you're bringing your beloved animal, which a lot of us travel with animals, make sure that your dog is on, your, on a leash and because we're going to be on BLM, you can easily go take your dog outside of the Schooly Palooza area to go walk them further away. But please don't let your dogs just roam around inside of the camp. That way everybody stays safe and everybody has an amazing time with their other pets and children there. There's going to be a few different areas. This is kind of going to be a little bit where the structure comes in this year. Schooly Palooza is going to try our best as people check in to the main area to have a few different sections going on. We're going to try to have a section of the schoolies that are going to be toured. If you want people to come into your schoolie build and it's not quite ready, that's absolutely okay. But we're going to really highlight those who have completed their projects and really are excited to show what is possible with the schoolie build. We're also going to have a brand new section this year of the build section. We have volunteers who are actually going to come and volunteer their time to weld, help with solar installs, help with small carpentry projects. And this is something that's really exciting this year because so many people come with visions and with dreams of building certain things and maybe just don't have the expertise. And this year we're gonna help you make that happen, hopefully, or at least give you a little bit of a jump start to get that going. So we are gonna have a build area, a schoolie tour area, and then there's also gonna be two separate areas for people who are more into the party scene and those who are more in the quiet or family area. So upon check-in to Schooly Palooza, please make sure to just designate which area that you would like to be in, and please honor the area that you're in. If you wanna go and have a party, but you're parked in the quiet area, go over to the party area. That way we can really honor the separate sections and keep everybody having the best experience possible. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, I think that's it for the, the area. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to the events and workshops that are gonna be happening starting on, from when we arrive on January 20th. Like I said, there's gonna be an opening potluck dinner and then all the way through the next Sunday are events. We've got workshops hosted and scheduled every day. Uh, there's workshops such as bus maintenance, solar install, workshops on traveling with kids. There's gonna be some workshops on how to incorporate yoga on the road, staying healthy while traveling, bus cooking workshops. There's gonna be a water catchment and wind generator uh, DIY kind of a workshop. 
and there could possibly even be a roof raise happening during Schooling Palooza this year, so you can get a full-on experience of what the process is and what it actually entails to do one of these. So we are going to be having a nightly fire, of course, weather permitting, plan for rain, and then if we have great weather, great, but make sure to plan for rain. Bring your rain clothes, bring warm clothes, dress for all weather conditions. With a nightly fire, we would really su help support Schoolie Palooza if you could bring firewood with you. You can absolutely have your own fire, but we cannot actually gather firewood from BLM. So if you could bring enough fire for one night to share with everybody, we would have ample wood and we'd be able to have amazing, huge nightly bonfires in the desert. So there's also gonna be a lunch potluck midweek, and there's also gonna be a dessert potluck potluck on probably Saturday night. And speaking of Friday and Saturday night, we have All Star Entertainment with DJ C coming to actually host Friday night karaoke and a dance party on Saturday night. So that should be absolutely amazing. So fun, family friendly. Again, this is gonna be more in the main area. So just plan that on Friday and Saturday night, we're going to most likely have a little bit of a later night, even in the main area. 10, 11 o'clock, we'll be cutting it off. So it's not gonna be some 2 a.m. party atmosphere unless they head on over into the party section. So we have somebody who's graciously going to be coming again this year, who's going to be providing a full day of arts and crafts for the kids in a canopy, which is amazing. And let's see, we've got Sunday morning hosted by Nick and Russ. They are going to be cooking the community a full breakfast. So make sure to stay for Sunday morning. Monday, January 27th, we are going to have the Schoolie Palooza cleanup crew, which is all of us. We are all going to take part in creating a space of cleaning up the desert and making sure that we've left it even better than when we showed up because that's what we want to be doing, right? As schoolies, we really want to be able to be showing that we are a part of this process of keeping our space clean and really making this whole event an amazing space for everybody that's coming. I really look forward to seeing you there. And if you have any additional questions, please head on over into the Schoolie Palooza 2020 Facebook event page and post your questions there and we'll get them answered. And we'll see you soon.